discuss this further is Dr. Dina Kulik, pediatrician and founder of Kid Crew Medical. Thank you so much, doctor, uh, for joining us on this today. Uh, I want to get your take on what we heard today from the U.S. Surgeon General and uh, the, the pointers that he had and why this is so important right now. Kids use social media with increasing frequency. Some kids spend an awful lot of time on social media, and it definitely has some potential downsides, which is very much based in evidence now. So increasing rates of depression and anxiety, poor self-esteem. A lot of kids will end up feeling left out of so certain things socially. The reality is that most of us that use social media leave social media experiences feeling not great about ourselves, right? A lot of us will feel like we're missing out on things or other people have better lives or better relationships or they're traveling more or all these sorts of things. And our kids are not immune to that. Our kids are seeing other people having experiences and it typically is a certain picture of our lives, social media. We tend to show the things that are going well and that are great and many children will feel less good about themselves leaving those experiences. And further, it could be very addicting. These kinds of, you know, social media apps can be very addictive to children and right. kids are spending more and more time using them. Right. It can be a form of validation in some ways, but then it, that can turn into something more negative for children down the line. Uh, I want to ask, though, what you think, because the Surgeon General in the States was saying that, you know, this is something that the lawmakers and companies really need to tackle. What on their end could tech companies and all these platforms and governments do uh, to really help kids in this way? Well, many of these apps were not meant to be used until children are 13 or 14 years of age. But I have patients that are playing on some of the, these apps that are much, much younger than that. It's sort of the honor system, right? So kids are downloading the apps, they're learning how to use them by their, by their friends. Often their parents are not even aware of it. So as parents, I think we have to be very mindful about what are our kids using? Do our children have access to devices? And at what age should they and do they have access to those devices? If they don't have access to devices, they can't use social media. So that's an important piece. But I think just like some apps or websites, for example, ones selling cannabis where you have to put in your age and make sure it's still you know, the honor system, but you're, you're telling the system how old you are to so your legal age for that, perhaps there should be systems like that where there's at least some kind of you know, stopcock, if you will, to ensure that the child is really the right age. And further, maybe you know, capping it on a certain number of minutes or hours per day so that children are not you know, using it for many, many hours into the day and evening. And Dr. Kulik, just finally here, the U.S. Surgeon General is recommending things like ensuring at mealtimes there is no tech at the tables, having this priority on connection. What other quick tips do you have for parents? Absolutely. I think that as parents, too, we can be role models for that. When I'm with my kids, I try very hard not to be with any of my devices. My phone is away. My computer is not near me. And so I think role modeling as parents is really important. But be mindful of what are they spending their time doing and when. I also feel very strongly that we should not be having screens or any devices in our bedrooms. Many kids might be saying they're doing homework or they're you know, doing whatever they're doing in the room, re reading or whatnot, but they might be on their devices much longer than you think. All of these devices, you can check the number of hours you're spent using them. And many families are shocked when we do that exercise in the office. And I, I encourage you to do that at home as well. 